For many people, a surprise encounter with a spider in their own backyard is quite an unwanted and even scary experience. If you live in Eastern North America, there's a good chance that you've had this exact kind of encounter with this strange looking spider. This is the Arrowhead Orb Weaver, and its bright red and yellow coloration mixed with its spiky appearance might make the spider appear to be dangerous, but are they really as harmful as they look? I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. While I usually have to go to great lengths or search in unusual habitats to dispel myths about some of the world's most understood creatures, today is different, as one of North America's most unusual spiders happened to show itself in my own backyard. Let's learn all about this amazing animal. This is what I have in this tube right here is one of the creepiest but also most distinctive looking spiders that you could find here in North America. This is the Arrowhead Orb Weaver, an absolutely beautiful species of orb weaving spider that you could find throughout Eastern North America, through Central America, as well as the Caribbean. This is a relatively common species throughout many different kinds of habitats. And because of this very generalist habitat preference, also urbanized areas. So there's a chance that you actually might find this beautiful spider in your own backyard. Now, that might have just scared you a little bit that these guys can be found in backyards and in and around houses. But are these really something to be afraid of? Well, no. These are an orb weaver spider, which means that they are, despite being venomous technically, harmless to people. And their bite, if you were to, for whatever reason, get bitten, is very mild maybe resulting in a tiny bit of itchiness and pain, maybe a little bit of local swelling and redness, but nothing really medically significant at all, just like any other orb weaving spider. And as you can see, already in these first few minutes, it's calmed down with a little bit of a web on my hands, and it's just a very nice, tempered spider, not doing anything to show any signs of aggression towards me, especially not trying to bite me. If anything, the spider is a bit more confused than it is aggressive towards me, as I am admittedly quite scary to this cute little spider. Now this is, like I said, an orb-weaving spider, so they make that distinctive circular-shaped web in between two or three little trees or perching spots like bushes and those palm trees behind me, where they set up that distinctive spirally web of the orb weavers and sit right in the middle of it during the daytime. That's right, these are a diurnal orb weaver. A lot of orb-weaving spiders will set up their webs at nighttime and sit in the middle of it during the night, but these wait in the middle of their webs during the daytime. Unusually for orb weavers, would probably be sitting upright in the middle of it. A lot of orb weavers sit upside down, but the way that these arrowhead orb weavers orient themselves is very distinctive. Not only do they sit with their head up, the way they construct their web is pretty much also upside down compared to the webs of a lot of other orb weavers. Their webs are also unusual in the fact that they don't have a little hiding spot in the corner that's tightly wound like a lot of other orb weavers do. Now you might notice that absolutely striking color pattern. A lot of times you might be used to very brightly colored animals, especially really brightly colored spiders, as advertising that they might be dangerous. But like I said, this species is completely harmless to humans. Those bright colors are actually there to attract prey and to let other arrowhead orb weavers know their location. The females of the species are a distinctive bright reddish brown color on the legs and the prosoma with a beautiful contrasting yellowish white very bold abdomen or epistosoma that is distinctively triangular in shape with these little serrated edges. I can get that that shape that looks just like an arrowhead might be a little intimidating to people. That sharp, scary looking appearance of the opistosoma, plus those beautiful bright red colors on the body might make this, again, look like a dangerous spider. But like I said, it's completely harmless. As you can see, still just calmly walking around my hand, like I'm just a part of its environment. As is the case with most orb weavers, the females are a lot larger and more striking in appearance than the males are. Males of the arrowhead orb weaver are a lot smaller, duller in color, and don't have that arrowhead-shaped pistosoma. Instead, their pistosoma is a lot rounder. Sometimes they have a triangular pattern in the middle to make it look like they have a triangular-shaped epistosoma, but no offense to the males 
are still nowhere as striking as the absolutely beautiful and honestly unmistakable females of this beautiful species. Now even though I've said that these absolutely beautiful arachnids are completely harmless, you might still be afraid of potentially having this in your backyard close to your house. But if there's one more thing I'd like to add, it's that these are extremely beneficial to have around. These beautiful arrowhead orb weavers specialize in catching daytime flying insects in their very strong and sticky webs. This species' webbing is honestly stronger than the average orb weaver web, which makes them particularly good at catching a lot of daytime flying pest insects that you might not want around your house in your backyard. Plus, just look at this beautiful pattern it has. The best course of action when you see these is to just leave it alone. All right, I feel like we've had enough time with this absolutely gorgeous arrowhead orb weaver. I love this absolutely amazing spider. And even though this is my second time ever seeing it, I'm really counting this as my first because I have never truly interacted with one like this before and it is everything I hoped it to be. Beautiful, calm, and just an important member of this ecosystem. So let's put it right back where we found it. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out when we found a nocturnal close relative of this arrowhead orb weaver, the tropical orb weaver. Hope to see you there.